Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to crochet using your fingers. <laughs> now, most people will use crochet hooks, but I actually find it easier to work with my hands. So I have three balls of wool right here, and I'm going to use three strands at a time. You can use one, it won't make any difference whatsoever. But since I'm making a blanket, which I want to be quite thick, and I know will take me quite a while, I'm not amazing at this, so I'm going to use three at the same time just to try and get through it a little bit quicker. In this video I'm only going to show you how to do, how to start it, I'm going to go through the first row and show you how to get onto the second row from there. From there you just continue on the same process until you've got the size and shape that you want. So let's get started. To begin with, you want to take your three strands, or like I said, you could just use one, it's completely up to you. We're going to find the end and pull them neatly together. And then we're going to wrap them over your finger twice, then hold on to it. This first three will go over this one, and then over again and pull down until you make a loop. Now I'll just show you that again. Take your strands, wrap them around twice. This first group of strands goes over the second and then pull it over your finger to make a loop. From here I usually hold on to this middle section just to get the first one in. You want to push these three strands through the loop. And you will see another loop appears. So now you can pull that down and then we'll start the next one. So again you pull your three strands and pull them through the loop. your three strands, pull them through your loop. Three strands, through the loop and you just continue this process to make it your desired length. If this piece of cotton which is your loop gets too long simply pull back like this and then you can just continue feeding it through. And if you do make a mistake, all you need to do is pull your string and it will all undo itself. So I'll just show you quickly how we would do this with just one strand in case that's all you're using. So again, you take your finger, wrap it around twice, the first loop over the second, the second loop over your finger until you have your little knot. You're going to pull the loop through the first hole, tighten it, pull the loop through the second hole, tighten it, pull the loop through the third hole, tighten it, fourth hole, and again if it gets too long just pull back on the rope. I'll get my first row done and then I'll show you how it looks. Now I haven't done this the length I actually want it and I've made it really loose just so that I can show you how we actually get on to the next step. Because this is going to be important if you're making a blanket or anything other than a string of knots. <laughs> so now that we've got the last hoop, just to show you again, you go through, pull, through, pull, through, pull. It's pretty simple. With the last hoop, you want to flip everything over this way. You could do it the other way, but since I'm right-handed, I like to always start on my right-hand side. Now you keep your fingers through this last hoop, and you're going to find the hole in the second from last. So not this one, you're going to go into this hoop. And keep this on your two fingers, and then push your fingers through the next hole. Like, oh, 
I can get one in. <laughs> okay, like this. And then you're going to grab the material and pull. And then just like normal through and hoop. And then from here, we've just done this hoop, so we're going to go through the next one. So you put your fingers in this hole through the second until you can grab the material, pull through and then loop like normal. And again you put your two fingers in the material through the next hole, grab it and through the loop then same as normal. So I'll just show you a couple more times. You're going to push your fingers through the loop, find the next loop. So we've just done this one. So we're going into the second. Grab the material and pull it through both loops. Pull and then the same as normal. Again. You know, put your finger through the material, grab the and pull through, and then loop like normal. So I'll just show you a couple more times, just to make sure you've got the hang of it. So you've got your fingers through this one, go through the next loop, grab it and pull through both. You want to pull it tight and then loop like normal. fingers through this material, through the loop, grab it, pull through, tighten and pull through like normal. And as you can see here, the second layer is starting to come on. Now it doesn't look too neat because I have purposely made these loops big so that I'd be able to show you how to do it. But as you can see the second row here is a lot neater so you will get the hang of it. It may take a couple of tries but you'll be able to make a blanket or whatever you want using your fingers. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and it's useful to you. See you soon guys. Bye!